An interesting study has come out in the last few days on vitamin D and how it relates to what's going on in the world. Let's take a close look at this one. So it's from the New York Post. Study claims vitamin D levels may impact Charlie One Niner mortality rates. Researchers have discovered a strong correlation between vitamin D deficiency and mortality rates from the novel virus. A new study reveals a research team led by Northwestern University analyzed data from hospitals and clinics across China, France, Germany, Italy, Iran, South Korea, Spain, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States. Patients from countries with high Charlie One Niner mortality rates, such as Italy, Spain, the United Kingdom, had lower levels of vitamin D compared to patients in countries that were not as severely affected, according to the study. The researchers also found a strong correlation between vitamin D levels and cytokine storm, which is a hyper-inflammatory condition caused by an overactive immune system. Cytokine storms can severely damage lungs and lead to acute respiratory distress syndrome and death in patients. Ali Danesh Kaha, a postdoctoral research associate at Northwestern's McCormick School of Engineering, said in a statement, this is what seems to kill people seems to kill a majority of Charlie One Niner patients, not the destruction of the lungs by the virus itself, but the complications from the misdirected fire of the immune system. However, scientists also cautioned against hoarding vitamin D supplements. So this is a really interesting one. And why I think it's also interesting because it could explain some of the reasons why we are seeing in Northern Europe, the UK especially, there being a disproportionately high death rate amongst Asians, people with dark skin, black you know, Afro-Caribbeans, black people, whatever you want to call them. This would make a lot of sense. This would, this would iron out a lot of the problems that we've been facing and questions that are being asked. If you, of course, live in Northern Europe, say UK, London, and you are of Afro-Caribbean origin, aka you have dark skin, high melanin content, you probably are vitamin D deficient. Now, if the government comes along and says, OK, now you're under house arrest, you must remain in your house for 23 hours a day, only go outside for was you know essential needs don't if if you lie in a park to try and get some sun uh, the police will come along and move you on your way you may be arrested you may be fined if you're a black person with black skin you are probably going to be vitamin d deficient now it makes sense we know vitamin d is important for a strong immune system really in my opinion i'm no doctor do your own research this is by no means advice to anybody i'm just saying do your own research but I've been going out getting plenty of sun. We're quite lucky. I can actually do that you know, legally without fear of the tyrannical state imposing on me. Uh, we've got a pony, which I go down and feed and spend a bit of time with every day. So I'm generally down with a pony for at least half an hour, an hour each day. Then I go to the allotment, spend again half an hour, an hour with the chicken. So I'm outside. I'm with my shirts off. I'm absorbing vitamin D because in my opinion, it's, again, I'm no doctor. I'm no medical professional. But in my opinion, Everything I read about vitamin D is good for your immune system, and it would only make sense to try and boost that while a large percentage of the population are locked up in their house under house arrest, 23 hour, 23 hour a day bang up um, with a bare minimum of, of sunlight. It makes sense that people are weakening their immune systems and probably actually going to expose themselves more to the risks of uh, Charlie One Niner, in my opinion. I thought this was an interesting. Uh, study anyway as, as I say we're very early on in the research to do with Charlie One Niner and P, you know it's still early days it's, it's very new right but we know, we've known for a long time it's pretty much set in science that vitamin D is very good for the immune system if you're deficient in vitamin D you probably have a compromised immune system amongst other things it's not the be all and end all it's not the holy grail but it certainly is a cornerstone in having a functional immune system. And it also would explain why we're seeing you know, black people, Asian people, you know, people with darker skin, why they're being disproportionately affected. Because if you live in Northern Europe and you have darker skin that you know has evolved from the equator and compounding with that, you're being told to stay in your house for 23 hours a day. It only makes sense that vitamin D deficiency amongst this population will increase and will put them at a higher risk to uh, the effects of uh, Charlie One Niner. So, in my opinion, try and absorb sunlight as safely as you can. Maybe consider. I mean, I take supplements anyway. Uh, vitamin D um, amongst. Uh, I think I'll take it with calcium. I don't know. It's, it's something to do with vitamin D. I think works well with calcium. If you're deficient in one, you're probably deficient in the other. Is how I understand it. I've taken medical advice from uh, people who know a lot more about it. They were just like, basically, take this pill. You'll probably be okay, and I trust them. So I thought it was an interesting one anyway, guys. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. I mean, I'm, I say I'm quite lucky. I can spend quite a few hours a day outside legally. 
without fear of uh, some sort of robocop coming out and uh, just ending me but you know i feel sorry for people in you know flats in like inner urban environments that are just terrified to go outside of their house because of the tyrannical state we currently live in they probably are doing themselves a disservice by compromising their immune system through lack of sunlight through vitamin d deficiency but again i'm no doctor do your own research that's the critical thing to take away i think at this point thanks for watching this video guys love to know your thoughts and opinions on this one what are you doing to get vitamin d or do you think or do, do you think the government advice is correct do you think staying in your house for 23 hours a day is the correct thing to do i'm questioning at this point myself jason from liberty bunker signing off and i'll see you in the next video